The Philippines shocks China by revealing never-before-seen weapons. In a major turn of events, the Philippines surprises the world by introducing five new never-before-seen weapons that greatly enhances its military strength. These advanced tools are parts of the country's efforts to upgrade its defense system. Without any further ado, let's look at the five new weapons that shocked China. The first weapon that the Philippines is planning or has purchased is hypersonic anti-ship missiles. Hypersonic anti-ship missiles are a major breakthrough in modern naval warfare, offering unmatched speed, power, and accuracy, traveling at speeds greater than Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. These missiles can cover long distances in just minutes. Their incredible speed makes traditional missile defense systems almost useless. The missiles are very hard to detect and leave enemy forces with little time to react, making it nearly impossible to intercept them with normal ship-based radar or missile defenses. For the Philippines, developing these hypersonic anti-ship missiles would significantly change the balance of naval power in the region. The these missiles could act as a strong deterrent against larger naval forces like those of China, which has been aggressive in claiming parts of the West Philippine Sea. With the ability to hit targets quickly and from far away, these missiles could destroy enemy threats before they get close to the Philippine ships, like its Jose Rizal class frigates or upcoming offshore patrol vessels. In addition, the destructive power of these missiles is huge. The kinetic energy alone is enough to cause serious damage to enemy warships, and many of these missiles also carry powerful warheads capable of sinking even heavily armed ships. Even if a missile doesn't hit its target directly, the shockwave from a near miss could still damage surrounding ships or, or disrupt enemy naval groups. Owning hypersonic undership missiles would also give the Philippines a strategic advantage in defending its maritime borders. The country's control over the South China Sea and its key shipping routes would be strengthened as the presence of such a powerful weapon would make other countries think twice about aggressive actions within the Philippines' EEZ. This could also help the Philippines protect its claims over disputed areas. The second weapon that the Philippines has revealed is stealth-capable unmanned aerial vehicles. These are major advancement in modern aerial warfare and surveillance technology. These high-tech weapons are designed to avoid detection by radar and other sensors, allowing them to operate in dangerous areas without being caught. Their special design uses unique materials and shapes that reduce radar visibility, making them almost invisible to enemy defense systems. One of the main functions of stealth-capable UAVs is surveillance, equipped with high-quality cameras thermal imaging and various sensor tools, these drones can carry out extensive reconnaissance missions over disputed areas like in the South China Sea. They collect important intelligence on enemy movements, naval formations, and strategic targets without revealing themselves to enemy fire. This ability helps the Philippines maintain a real-time understanding of the situation. Besides surveillance, these drones can also be used for intelligence gathering using advanced electronic warfare equipment that can intercept and analyze enemy communications, track radar signals, and gather data on enemy capabilities. This information is vital for shaping military plans and ensuring that the Philippines is aware of potential threats in its airspace and territorial waters. Additionally, these drones can carry out strike missions deep within contested waters. They can carry precision-guided weapons allowing them to attack enemy targets without being detected. This ability improves the Philippines' offensive operations, enabling it to strike enemy bases, naval assets, or supply routes without risking manned aircraft. The operational range of these drones is another important benefit. Many stealthy UAVs can travel long distances, allowing them to operate well beyond the immediate reach of enemy forces. This long-range capability means that the Philippines can effectively 
protect its maritime interests. The next powerful weapon is railgun technology. Railgun technology marks a remarkable advancement in artillery systems, utilizing electromagnetic forces to launch projectiles at incredibly high speed. Railguns can engage targets at distances over 100 nautical miles. This long range, this long range enables the Philippines Navy to protect its coastal waters and territorial claims, discouraging potential aggressors from getting too close. The technology offers a high level of precision, essential for targeting fast-moving ships and aircraft. This kinetic energy of the projectiles delivers a powerful impact without needing explosive warheads, making each shot effective and precise. Adding railgun technology into the Philippine Navy could greatly improve its maritime security and deterrent capabilities. As tensions rise in the South China Sea, a fleet equipped with railguns offer a strong defense against potential threats. By adopting this advanced military technology, the Philippines could strengthen its relationships with regional partners, gain an advantage in diplomatic discussions, and reinforce its commitment to national security. The next weapon is the most expensive one, advanced submarines with air independent propulsion. In recent years, the advancement of AIP technology has changed the game in naval warfare. This is particularly important for countries like the Philippines, which are looking to strengthen their defense capabilities in the face of increasing regional tensions. AIP submarines are specifically designed to operate quietly and efficiently, making them a powerful tool for protecting nation's waters. AIP submarines have the remarkable ability to stay submerged for long periods typically two to three weeks, without needing to surface for air. The stealth capability of AIP submarines is another critical advantage. Their ability to remain submerged for long periods, making it hard for enemy forces to detect them. This stealth is crucial for gathering intelligence and conducting covert operations, which can give the Philippine Navy strategic edge in times of conflict. Furthermore, the presence of AIP submarines serves as a strong deterrent against hostile naval forces. If adversaries know that these submarines can strike from hidden positions, they are less likely to challenge Philippine sovereignty in its waters. The fear of being targeted can discourage aggressive actions, thereby contributing to national security. The last powerful weapon is laser defense systems. These systems are becoming a significant part of modern military technology. These advanced systems provide a new way to defend against aerial threats like missiles and drones. By using concentrated beams of light, laser systems can damage or destroy targets. One of the handout features of laser defense systems is their precision targeting. These systems can accurately hit specific targets without causing collateral damage, which is crucial in urban settings or when protecting civilian areas. Laser systems can also reduce logistical burdens since they do not require large supplies of ammunition. Military forces can avoid the challenges related to transporting and storing conventional munitions. This capability enables armed forces to maintain higher levels of readiness with fewer resources. In terms of operational capabilities, laser defense systems can engage a wide range of threats. They can intercept incoming ballistic and cruise missiles, destroying them in mid-air and neutralizing threats before they reach their intended targets. Additionally, as drone technology advances, laser systems can effectively target and disable drones, providing strong defense against aerial reconnaissance and potential attacks. Beyond physical destruction, lasers can also disrupt the electronics of enemy missiles and drones. This means they can cause these threats to malfunction or divert from their intended paths without necessarily destroying them.